Hey, my name is Shiel, and this is the Nishika N8000, a four lens 35 millimeter film camera that I think is perfect for your next party. So my friend Paulo got this bad boy a couple years ago, I think. And it's just such a cool, unique camera. So I'm gonna tell you how to use it and then show you how to edit some of these GIFs. Let's get into it. It uses two AA batteries. It has four 30 millimeter lenses. The shutter speed is locked at 1 60th of a second. There's three settings on the front to control the aperture right here. There's like a cloud indoor, a cloud outdoor, and then just sun. And here on top of the camera, it gives you the best distances that you should have your subject for the optimal 3D effect. To begin shooting, you load the film like any other camera. You set the aperture to your indoor, outdoor, cloudy setting, and then you just start firing. With the 36 image roll, you'll get about 18 of these 3D GIFs because it uses two images and each of those images cut in half four math. I made a video actually about this Lomo action sampler, which is also a four lens camera. The main difference between these two is that the Nishika takes the image at the same time and you get four angles of that moment. While this guy, each picture happens quickly right after each other. So the gifts end up being slightly different. Like other humans, I have a birthday every year and occasionally it's celebrated, this time with two of my other friends. And although this camera looks amazing at all times, I think it really shines when it has a big flash on it. Look at this. Doesn't that look like a great party? Doesn't it look fun? <laughs> so I think a big tip for this, uh, if you're gonna use flash, which I, th I highly recommend if you have this guy, go inside, have a party and take pictures. My favorite ones that turned out was when the subject was about six to eight feet away. And you're given a little point you have something close up to the lens, focus on this main subject, and then things happening in the background. Then you get the fun. Hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> I think that's cool. So how do you edit these? Sheil, you mentioned you were gonna tell us how to edit these. Uh, come on over, let's edit these. Before we go over there, you should subscribe. Thank you. So when you get all your scans in, you're gonna have four different images. I'm gonna put those in the timeline in order of the camera. See here on the left, kind of move to the right, starts at the left, move to the right. Now I made the timeline 1526 by 1931. That's kind of just the approximate size of the image I got. Each picture here is about five frames. I found that to be a good amount of time for when you press play and it turns into a GIF. It moves, it moves. That's not bad. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's going like that and then jumping back and then jumping back. We don't want that. We want it to keep going back and forth, back and forth. So you go backwards, you take that one frame, then the four frame. So now it's going floop, 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 you know? That looks much better. But now you're saying, hey, this kind of still kind of looking wonky. These two closest probably the two middle frames. I'm gonna use this one as reference and I'm gonna pivot everything around my right eye, which is right in the middle here. So I'm gonna take number one, move it over just to see, lower this opacity and then let's zoom in on my face and line this up with my eye. about there. That looks pretty good. Now we can make that opacity back up to 100, drop it back down in our timeline. Let's do the same thing with the first image. Put it over image number four, lower the opacity, and see now that's way off. So when we move this image over, line it up with my right eye, now let's get this image back. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh, wait, 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 let's get this opacity. 
and that's it. You can crop the edges in, you can leave it like it is, and you have yourself a GIF. How dope is that? Easy. <laughs> Segment. You should subscribe. You should 100% subscribe. Also, go to my Instagram. Hi, welcome to the segment where I tell you something cool, something fun that I've recently I watched. have a passionate hatred towards those giant, nasty, red, blue, green open signs in the, at the front of shop windows. I think they look terrible. Look at this. Ugly. Look at this one. Ugly. This one is nice. Is it not nicer? Does that seem more inviting? It does, because it is. And the restaurant's great, and it makes me want to go there. Great font, kind of, I think it's a Futura. Much more inviting, much more beautiful. Signage is important, text is important. Add me on Letterboxd. <laughs> what? Bye.